It's a day engraved in our memories and one we'll never forget. Eighth grade ed class, I think we all remember where we were the moment that we heard the news. The world stopped spinning. Michael Prodromitis, a 28-year veteran of the New York Fire Department, was supposed to work that morning, but his partner took his shift. He was at home when he heard the news on TV. When I got there, the second one came down. And from there on, it's, um, I, I won't say it's a blur, but it's a lot of uh, material that I keep to myself. Prodromitis lost five brothers that day, and he wasn't alone. 343 firefighters were killed on September 11th. Twelve years later, Bryan College Station first responders are paying tribute to the men and women who lost their lives that day. We climb 110 stories, which is the height of the World Trade Center. Uh, for this building, the Verisco building, is seven stories tall, so that's 15 times to the top and then one time to the fifth floor. Symbolizing the climb those first responders were trying to make to rescue those trapped before the buildings collapsed. A task that may seem simple, but is difficult in more ways than one. We start off in high spirits, and as we get going, we start ex you know, exerting our bodies. We get tired. We have to joke with each other, holler at each other, keep up the spirits. When you're ready to quit, ready to give up, all of us are carrying a firefighter with us, or several firefighters. And it's motivational to look down and remember these men and women are no longer with us and to keep going in their memory. Always remembering and never forgetting. In Brian, Lauren Holman reporting.